Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the shop once again. Uh, real quick, while this vehicle is still here, I have a 2010 F-150 with a 6R80 transmission, of course. Uh, and he has a problem where he's just driving down the road, especially when it's cold. Uh, and it's just kind of, ooh, ooh, ooh. Just surging. I mean, there's that misfiring where it's a hard-hitting, you know, kind of misfire. Um, it's, it's that actual, like, surging going down the road. Now, there's two things that are pretty common to cause this, and that would be a throttle body that's failed, and it's actually hunting for play position, okay? And, of course, it will not hold steady, and it will hunt, and you'll get the, whoa, whoa. The other one being on these vehicles, the uh, this generation F-150, uh, 09 through 14 pretty much, uh, is the torque converter, all right? The torque converters can fail multiple different ways, but in this case, it's failing where it's kind of engaging and losing it, engaging and losing it. It's not a shutter, which it's an actual uh, situation where it's actually locking up and then losing it. Come back to lock up, losing it. And that's causing the RPM fluctuation, and of course, the speed fluctuation and the surging going down the road. It's a nice surge. It's not a harsh surge. Okay, so... I'm going to pull up some scan tool data on the scan tool real quick to show you guys what to look for when you have this concern with your 09 through 14 F-150 so you can decipher which is it so you know what components actually go after. Let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I want to tell you is when you're going to diagnose a trans torque converter concern for a shutter or a situation like this where it's surging, the first thing I'm going to tell you that no one else will tell you is do not worry about the slip while you're decelerating okay and during startup or idling like this some people they're gonna think oh dear it, it's slipping and it's causing all kinds of problems and everything else and you put it into gear and the slip goes way up oh man must be a real problem with it nope that's perfectly normal don't worry about the slip rpm until it's actually commanded right now it's not being commanded. Some vehicles, it says 50-something. This one says 47 milliamps, okay? You can see right now, Trans and PCM have control over it. So again, don't worry about the slip until it's actually being commanded on. You'll see this jump way up and go steady when you know that the PCM is actually asking for a torque converter clutch to come on, all right? And then the slip should drop down to, you know, 15, 20 RPM or so, all right? So let's go ahead and go on a test drive. I'll record some live data because I can't drive and record at the same time. Uh, but I'm going to come back and we'll kind of review it and show you exactly what's going on and what to look for. So right now, let's go for a little test drive. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is when you're going down the road, the transmission shifts great because this only has to do with the torque converter clutch. All right. So we're going down the road, going down the road, everything shifts great and everything else, and everything's fine until that torque converter clutch actually comes on on here. I don't know if you can hear, they can hear the engine go roar, roar, as it loads up and unloads. And you can see the ripples there. Like I said, I'll record this and show you guys the live data later. later. It's almost like you're taking your foot on the accelerator pedal and you're just going roar, roar. Room, just playing around with it, but you're holding the accelerator pedal steady and it's still doing it only when a torque converter comes on. Here we go again. You kind of see in the RPM and you can definitely see it rippling over here. All right, so here's a recording of some live data from that road test we just took. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but we were going down the road at a steady state, especially in the higher gears. We were loading up the engine, and then you can hear it. Just going down the road ever so slightly. And if you look really close, you'll be able to see the RPM kind of just doing the same thing, surging like that as the engine's getting loaded and unloaded as you're going down the road. And once you zero in on it and you pull some live data like this and record and look at it later, you can see exactly what's going on here. So you can see the trans has full control over uh, the, the torque converter. Our torque converter cl clutch is being turned on. You can see it right here a nice steady state all the way down. And then our actual performance is down here of the slip uh, that is occurring within that torque converter. All right, torque converter clutch. So you can see 
it just keeps going in a cycle like this over and over and over again and that's where you're getting it so it's engaging and disengaging over and over again and kind of slipping on there so i'm sure this had a problem for a while now uh that's been happening like this at this point it's just kind of contacting here and there so we can look at the data on here now 15 20 rpm that's totally fine when it's fully engaged down there but this right here we can look at it you can see it's it's cycling up to you know 100 120 or so look at that 150 almost there and that's back down basically being locked we're good we're good and then it loses it again you see this and then it goes back down pretty good and then it loses it again so that's what's occurring here now what's cool about this scan tool you're like yeah i think that's it. it's pretty obvious we know when it's when the torque converter is locked the slip should be you know basically a flat line all the way across as you're cruising down the road so we know that's definitely an issue but just to be sure on the ford scan tool anyway we have the ability uh, to actually take control of the transmission in certain aspects, and one of them being uh, the torque converter. So I can actually go in and take control of it, and I could either unlock it or lock it like that, and then go down the road. All right, so we're gonna keep it unlocked. And then we're going down the road, all right, with it totally unlocked, it's never gonna lock up again. This will stay consistent in our slip should stay consistent across the board because it's never locking it up. And of course, our surge going down the road should be gone. Let's go for a test drive. What I'm gonna do is go down this back road here so we're safe and off the main roads by our lovely water park here. And we'll get the recording back here. I know you guys can't feel it, uh, but the surge is gonna be totally gone. So you're going fast enough where it would normally lock up getting those higher gears you're past 25 miles an hour and it's just smooth as can be smooth as can be problems totally gone because we're never locking up over here and I'll take a recording of it we're in a higher gear now everything's a-okay surge is totally gone all right, so here's a recording from that last road test with it manually unlocked, so it never locks up on there. You can see our amperage stay the same way across, indicating it was unlocked the whole time. And you can see our slip, it just stayed consistent all the way across like a flat line. And of course, we drove down the road, no surge. So that really confirmed it right there. It's great to have the output state control on there. Uh, so you can you know control it like that and really verify it, uh, but it's not absolutely necessary. You saw in the last recording, our our amperage was consistent, and it was oh, wrong. It's pretty obvious the torque converter slipping on there.